I need a coffee. This has got to be the worst coffee I've ever seen. It's time to head to my favourite cafe. Mm. Ah, it's so much better. This is Barcaluti, Victoria Street, Darlinghurst, and it's said to be one of the oldest cafes in Sydney. I have Chris here to tell me a little bit more about it. Firstly, Chris, how long have you been coming here for? I've been coming here since I was a 17 years old kid. Yeah? It's about 40 years ago. Okay, so you've, you've been quite the regular here. No, it's a part of my family here. Yep. All my friends coming here. Yep. Uh, firstly, they opened there on William Street yep. uh, by Mr. Caluzzi, who came here to fight for a boxing title at 1946. And then that's when he started opening uh, the coffee shop for the Italian community at the time. Okay, so it's quite a close-knit cafe where there's a lot of regulars who come yes, here. Yes. Okay, but I also hear there's actually a lot of um, celebrities and famous people that come to visit here as well. Well, all the uh, hierarchies, they used to come here half past eight. Mm -hmm. You only have to go inside to have a look at the photos. So it's all photos of yes. famous people? Yes. Oh, okay. Who is who? Ah, so, so it's quite the celebrity, but it's also very diverse with its culture and people. They only come here because of the coffee. It's, it's also nothing the coffee. but the very best. Yes. Hey, look over there. That's actually Fonzie from Happy Days. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly's come to visit this cafe. And of course, ah, the infamous Mundine. I'm sure he's quite the regular here. Sydney without coffee. I think really the world runs on coffee. So, best coffee for the day. You can't just have one coffee, you gotta have two. It's good. You know what? I can't pick, so I'm just gonna go with my favourite, which is the chicken, pumpkin, and pine nut pie. I'm gonna order it. So, this is what a real pie looks like. Chicken, pumpkin, and pine nut, here I come. Mmm, great. They really do make great pies here. I'm gonna find out where they make all these. Well, this is where it's all happening. I've gotta try this. Hey guys, how are you going? All right. The baking here, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, why not? So do you guys like coffee? Uh, you know, that'd be great. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe I'll make you guys one later. <laughs> well, pretty much the reason why I've come here is because it's a great combination of having fresh bread with a great cup of coffee and something better than making your own bread as well, which I've never done before. Is that right? That's amazing. Oh. So how am I going here? Oh, I reckon they look a little bit similar. Um, I think mine is just a little bit wonky. Street Bakery was fun, but now it's time to learn how to make the perfect coffee. And there's no other place to do it than the creme de la creme of all coffee houses, Toby's Estate in Woolloomooloo. And I have Rich here to tell me all about it. So Rich, are you going to teach me how to make a coffee? Sure, AJ, come on around.
we making here? Let's do a cappuccino. Cappuccino. Yeah. And so these um these beans that you've actually used are Toby's own specific blend. That this is used. Toby's own blend. Yeah, it's okay. called the Woolamaloo blend. Okay, and how um, many he's got? Has he got a, a few of his own different blends? Yeah, yeah, we've got a, quite a few. We've got another one called Espresso Rico, which yep. is about the same body as the Woolamaloo, but quite a um, a lot more acidity to it, so okay. it's a lot a lot snappier. So there's a lot of different tastes that can come out of a different blend. Absolutely, right. it's a recipe of flavors when you're putting single origins together to create right. an overall um, flavor profile. We've got an organic blend as well which yep. is purely organic single origins okay. and we've got a um, an organic fair trade blend yes. now as well which that's, is that's really good that just all organics that. and all fair trade things yeah. as well wow yeah. it really is the uh, connoisseur of all coffee houses so once it reaches about 25 mils yep. we're just going to turn it off okay and that's your espresso wow okay so i'm going to drink, drink this one come on here we go cheers but cheers That's a great, great espresso. It's very strong too. <laughs> Number three. Number three. <laughs> well, that was a great lesson in coffee making. I've just had about three coffees, you know, I think. I better keep moving. See you later.